so in this video i wanted to talk about how to create a virtual environment and how to manage the dependencies showed you the initial demo of how to uh, how the llm app which i'm trying to create that works how the end product looks now look let's look into the each of these components and see how this works right so the first thing which you wanted to do is you create a virtual environment any of the conflicts with any other environment so so first of all i will try to create a, a virtual environment then we will try to install the dependencies that we need for this project so first of all i will stop this app uh, then i will clear the terminal so this v e n v uh, dot v in v folder which you see that is actually the fold uh, actually the environment that i have created for this project so i will just delete this for the time being uh, just wanted to see how to uh, create it from scratch so this is actually the command to create uh, the virtual environment so you need to write like python 3 minus m uh, uh, vnv and the name of this uh, environment is dot vnv right so once you run that it will uh, start creating the virtual environment and once it is created you will see this folder which is available here right and after that what you can do is you can like activate that environment so what you need to do is you need to do this source dot vnb slash bin slash activate so that will actually activate that environment so then after that what you can do is you can just upgrade the pip if you want so this is the way to do it so once uh, that is done so now your environment is ready to install the uh, dependencies that are required for this particular uh, project right so the dependencies which i have that is present in this requirement.txt so we require the torch torch then the transformers then the c transformer which is required to load uh, the mistral uh, quantized model which are related to cpu version then we have the gradio which we will use to uh, deploy the uh, build the ui then we have the fast api which will allow us to create the api version of this uh, project then we have the python dot env so we will in the next video we will talk about how to use the dot env file and then load the secrets using that file then we have langchain chroma db pi pdf2 the sentence transformer tick token uh, together is also we are using so we are uh, using the mistral model which is hosted in the together uh, api and we will use that api key from the together uh, profile and then we will load that uh, model right now let's uh, do the installation for this uh, from this requirement.txt file right so what you need to do is you need to write pip install minus r requirements.txt right so then it will start the installation process and it will keep on installing the requirements uh, uh, required libraries which are mentioned in this requirement.txt file it took around 1 minute 22 seconds to complete this installation step now we can see like uh, all the dependencies that are present in the requirement.txt that got installed and it took like more than uh, one minute to complete the installation so i kind of fast forwarded the video and uh, skipped that step of installation so once that is done your environment now has all the required dependencies that we need for this particular project right so it might happen that uh, in the starting you don't know what all the packages that you need for doing this project right so that is kind of an incremental step which you can take like you can keep adding this uh, few of the uh, new libraries which you need to this requirement dot uh, txt and then again you can run like uh, pip install minus r requirement dot txt right so it will uh, like skip the already installed uh, libraries and it will only install the new packages that are mentioned in the requirement.txt right so it is always uh, uh, better to create a new virtual environment and then do the installations of the required libraries and manage it in a separate way so that your current installation does not conflict with the, any other environment and the uh, dependencies of the other environments right so with this i will end this video and in the next video we will talk about how to uh, use the dot env file to load the dependencies and uh, how you can manage the secrets using the dot env file right thank you see you in the next video